Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. So we're looking at combined arms again and looking at driving a vehicle. In this case, it's going to be the SPAA Gepard. And if you're not turned on by that, then there is something wrong with you because that's possibly the best, most exciting machine I've ever seen in my life. It looks like something from Star Wars. It's from the German army, I believe, and it's friggin' awesome. So what we've got here is a tracked vehicle with a rotatable and elevation changeable turret. Uh, it has a dish here which erects itself, spins round and acts as early warning and search. And then a track radar, which I think is this guy here. Uh, I think it changes itself slightly uh, to become a track radar and that will point the turret at the target and give us guidance for shooting. So it's radar guided AAA. So what is it? It's a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. Yep, a crew of three. And there's its dimensions. It's combat weight, 47 and a half tons. What an absolute monster, massive vehicle. That's for shooting down. That really is for shooting down some big aircraft. Ground clearance, 440 centimetres. Ground pressure. Engine is a V10 diesel, 830 horsepower. That's very impressive. Road speed, 65 clicks per hour. That's pretty good. 43 miles per hour or something. Operational range, 550 clicks. Cross country, 400 clicks. Max effective range of the gun, 3,000 metres, 3 kilometres, about 2 miles for a gun. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, I should say at this point, this is a, an anti-aircraft vehicle. It can be happily used for um, shooting ground targets as well, and that gives much joy, as you'll see. Uh, speed of traverse is 90 degrees per second. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, really good, actually. Uh, max, really important for when shooting down aircraft. Max elevation, 45 degrees per second. Very good. Three, uh, gun elevation and depression is very important. Minus 10, plus 85. That's pretty the, much the best coverage I've ever seen. Almost everything apart from 10 degrees up, basically. So, um, thoroughly impressive vehicle. Germans do make some really good stuff. Armament, um, 35 mil. 35 mil KDA cannon rounds. Not sure what KDA is. Uh, maybe the name of it. I'm not sure. Ammunition 620 rounds. So the only thing that let, lets it down slightly is the amount of rounds, but it is low rate of fire. Well, relatively. So they do last a while. So let's go and drive it. Okay, tactical commander. Okay. Okay, click on our Spar Gepard. Click on our drive button. And in we go. Right, first of all, as ever, let's just go over the basics. The adjust controls. If we select combined helms here, we get all of the controls. And this covers all of the vehicles, so they'll all be the same. My suggestion is to just leave them as they are and learn them like this. And that covers all of your vehicles. So if you want to know anything, just come in here. And there's, you know, it's less than 100 here. Very easy to use. Don't need to explain them to you. They're all self-explanatory. I'll just show you using just the basic ones you need to move and fight and whatnot. Okay. Next, we'll look at the views. We're just going to pause it now. F1 gives you this inside view. You can uh, change between inside and outside drivable view by pressing the insert button. So that gives us outside. That gives us inside. And we can move the turret about with our mouse. So if I unpause here, like that. Pause again. F2 will show us the uh, nearest aircraft, viewable aircraft. And the mouse now moves the camera around, zoom in and out. F7 shows us us from the outside, and the camera now moves in and out and around like that. That's such a cool looking thing, right? Right control and F10 gives us this, but we'll go through that in a bit, I think. So next we go back to F1 inside. Let's have a look around the screen. Let's get our mouse pointer up. So this here is our radar. It corresponds with our spinny dish. So if I were to press insert, and you can see it corresponding there with our search dish. So this is the B-sweep line here that's picking up the hostiles. You can see there's one there and there's one there in terms of azimuth. This is our track here. That's where our, essentially where our turret uh, track radar is pointing. Here is the uh, range of, of this view, and that can be changed in the controls as we saw earlier. Here is the azimuth of our hull, where our hull is pointing, and there is north. Here is for the AI members of my group. There are none at the moment, but they would be on column and on hold. And you can change that from uh, the F10 menu while not driving the vehicle if you need to. Here is our current weapon selected. There's only one weapon. It's, it's the twin uh, 35 mil. High explosive round, 660 rounds total. Here is the current gear. It can be reverse, neutral, or drive. Here is the speed of the chassis, zero miles per hour. Here is the azimuth of the chassis. Here is the azimuth of the gun uh, turret compared to the hull compared to north. Here are the hit points of the vehicle. Here is the heading of the turret and we can move that around as you see. There we go. 
Next, we'll look at the movement of the vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the thing in drive. Uh, X-ray key moves up the gears. Uh, Zulu key moves down the gears. So if we put it up the gears into drive. Whiskey now moves it forwards. Sierra brakes. Delta turns right. Alpha turns left. I know we haven't got a very good view here. Stop. And if we went to Zulu, Zulu, that's reverse gear. Whiskey now back. Sierra brakes. Like that. Okay, and stop. So now we come to using the gun. There's different ways of doing this because we do have radar guidance, but let's just uh, start off simply. First of all, let's use it against ground targets, which is incredibly satisfying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpause, insert to move in. I can shoot from inside or outside. It's up to me, but up there. Uh, press and hold right click. It zooms in. Let go. It zooms out. Uh, so if I wanted, I could dumb fire at a vehicle just by guessing the uh, kind of bullet dip and lead. Left click to fire. only thing that lets this vehicle down is the terrible sound of the gun firing. They should have had a really powerful sounding gun. But otherwise it's awesome. <laughs> Look how good and accurate it is. Exceptional piece of German engineering. Uh, not that you really need it, but you can do radar guidance on ground targets. I don't think that's realistic personally, but it's there. If we wanted that, we would press return while highlighting that vehicle there. I'd press return. It's going to acquire a lock, as you see at the bottom of the left. It's laser range. For, it's found the range. Radar range find it, however. It's done it. And it's give us a lead cue uh, that we need to hit the vehicle. So all we're, we're going to do is shoot the lead cue. And perfect shot. And it's dead. Um, so that's that. If we, and we wanted to lock this guy up here. You can only fire once it's gone red. It takes a few seconds. There it's gone red. There I can fire. If I wanted to unlock it for some reason, I could press the backspace button. <laughs> Those sounds have finally got here, look. Press the backspace button. And uh, doing that. And I was shooting that guy a kilometre with 100% accuracy. It shows how ridiculously overpowered this weapon really is. So that's how I can shoot ground vehicles. Now if I want to shoot air targets... We've got to find one to begin with. Uh, sometimes find ground targets, air targets, you go press insert. And you get a better field of view up like this. There's one. Insert. Right, I can just dumb fire at him like we were doing. I'd have to predict my lead and it would be very difficult. Or we can get radar lock. What we do is we press return like that. Look at the bottom left. You can see it takes three seconds or so um, to acquire the lock. Once the brackets go red, we're good to fire. And you can see the range on the top left. It's just about within range at the moment. I'm going to pause that. Let that sort itself a lock out. Okay, and that's given us now a aiming solution. So all we're going to do is aim our gun at that aiming solution and fire. Uh, he's a bit going to be hard to hit at this kind of range on this attitude. So I probably won't hit. But I may very well hit when he comes a little bit closer and starts coming towards me a bit more. Like this. Got him! He's smoking. Let's finish him off. him again. Look at them, what are they doing up there? Got him! Down you go, sir. Pew, pew, pew. You can't tell me that's not friggin' awesome. Okay, so that's one way you can use this, guided or unguided. And if you're feeling lazy, right control and F10 gives you this view. So, We've got an uh, enlarged uh, radar scope here, here's our B-script here, here's our track here, here's the baddie, it's detected there. We've got no information about it at the moment apart from his vector, or his location and his vector. So what I'm going to do is left click on that baddie, ping, it's now tracking him, it's now following him with the gun turret. And we've got this information, speed, altitude, distance, azimuth, uh, time to hit the bullet, don't know why that's there, ammunition, there. We've also got a range here of our scan. We've got our emissions, so we can turn our radar off if we want to hide ourselves from seed. A fire button here. Uh, and we shouldn't fire until we've got the lock and they're in range. So we've got to wait for these two greens to go. Then we can fire from here. Got a lock. Ah, we lost him. Right, got to wait for him to reacquire. I imagine he's just gone over our head. When I fired the gun there, I accidentally killed him. Well, that's no fun. Let's do it again. Back in we go. Give us that. Control F10. 
Our radar's not on yet because our dish isn't there. It's spinning now. Here we go. Hostiles. Let's click on that one and track him. Wait for lock. Wait for in range. He's going to come over us again. There, fire! Track on him now. It's guiding. Get some. Get some. Not quite aiming right this time, look. And you can shoot them down from here. Um, that's it. Change to that guy. Shoot him. Wait for the greens to go. Oh, I got him, look. Damage. Nice. I think it's going to pass over the top of me there. So, it's a pretty simple weapon. That's all I want to show. show sh shooting ground targets, locked and unlocked. Air targets, locked and unlocked. And using... The, uh, the scope view to fire from there. If you want to control it uh, from outside here, you can control it like I've shown with all the others, so I won't bother showing it here. Uh, but that's uh, that's it really. Uh, go and drive the Gepard. It's friggin' awesome and really good fun. Hope you enjoyed that and see you later.